All right, so this is another series of, you know, the copy trading that I started with BitGet, okay, a few weeks ago. As you can see here, this is how much we've made so far copying a trader on the BitGet exchange. And we started this copy trading with just approximately $600. That is what we started this copy trading with. And currently, I have some trades that are ongoing. Okay, now the interest or the profit you are seeing here would have been more than this. Okay, it would have been more than this, but I, I have some few traders who were actually making losses. Though from the beginning, they were making profit. Remember, I started this journey copying for traders. The last video I published, I had to, you know, unfollow one of the traders. So I was now copying three traders and all of a sudden, two out of the three were not doing very well so i had to equally unfollow them because after making close to almost two thousand plus okay two thousand dollars plus i had to you know one of the traders had to get account liquidated the other one um, you know had to hit stop loss and then i had to lose almost half of the money that i've made but right now compared to what i started this journey with i'm still in profit okay I'm still in profit and um, what it means is that I'm learning and unlearning some things where, when copying a traders on the BitGet exchange and that is exactly what I want to share with you, okay? So if you are new to the channel, if this is the first time of seeing our videos, then consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and in case you don't know already, um, the BitGet copy trading option is fishers. Okay, it is um, strictly futures trading. So if you don't know how to trade futures and then you want to leverage on making money on a passive mode, then you can come in here to the BitGet exchange. Link will be in the video description. You can sign up for an account. Okay, come to the copy trading option on the BitGet exchange and start copying traders. All right, so as you are copying traders, whatever activities that the traders takes on their end is automatically reflected in your own end. And when they make profit, you make profit. When they lose a trade, you lose a trade okay now few things i want you to take note of okay few things i want you to take note of when copying a trader this i've been doing with this one trader i will share the trader i'm copying with you this one trader that i've been copying i've been doing this with the trader and it has been going very well okay so one thing i want to let you know is that if you want to start your copy trading journey you should start with at least a thousand dollars and above okay if you really want to be profitable from this, you should start with at least a thousand dollars and above. And there are reasons why I'm saying that. Um, remember some of the videos I've published, I showed you that you can put take profit and stop losses. Okay, this is where you can set your take profit and stop losses. Now, this is an ongoing trade. Okay, this is an ongoing trade, as you can see. This trader is taking all of this trade, but the problem is the trader is not using stop losses. And there are no take profit okay there are no take profit the trader did not set take profit the trader did not set stop losses so it means that this trade can be running here for as long as this trader wants it until maybe when it is in profit but for the past few weeks or a few days that i've been copying this trader um his winning rate has been 100 percent okay i will share that with you in a moment his winning rate has been 100 percent so it, even when he or she is not using, you know, stop losses and take profit. So whenever this is in profit and the trader is satisfied with it, they will go ahead and close the trade automatically. Okay. So, um, but the only thing I set out of this is the leverage. The only thing I set out of this is the leverage. I'm not following. I'm following every other thing that the trader is doing, but I am specific with the kind of token that I trade. Okay. Which is just Bitcoin and Ethereum. That is, anytime the trader takes a Bitcoin or Ethereum trade, it will be copied on my own account. And then when it is copied on my own account, even when the trader is using 50x leverage on cross margin, okay, whether 100x leverage or whatever the trader is using, it will only be copied on a 10x leverage on my account. So the only thing that I adjusted is that I want to copy only the um, Ethereum and Bitcoin trades and then whenever it is copied it should be on the 10x leverage okay but for the take profit and stop loss i don't bother about that i don't set any percentage for that so i just leave it the way it is so that when the trader closes the trade it closes in my end because one thing i've noticed is that if i set stop losses okay 
if I st save stop loss, let's say I set it at minus 10%, you know, minus 20% or thereabout, this trader could allow these trades, okay, until it even gets to minus 100% without closing the trade. And at the end of the day, the trade will still go in profit. All right. And at the end of the day, the trade will still go in profit. So instead of just setting and then getting stopped at, I just let this be. Okay. So I'm following the trader's settings, but I will adjust my leverage. Okay. And then um, I, I select the tokens that I want to copy. So adjusting my leverage means that since the trader may have a larger capital, maybe a hundred thousand dollars, five hundred thousand dollars, whatever they have on their account, their trades can run for as long as they want without getting liquidated. If I use higher leverage, okay, even when I don't use stop loss and take profit, if I use a higher leverage, I may get stopped at, I get liquidated, okay, I'll get liquidated in market. So that is why I have to reduce the leverage to 10x leverage. Maybe when I have enough money, like $5,000, $10,000 in my account, then I can go ahead and increase the leverage. The more the leverage, the more profit I stand to make. Okay. These are just few points I want you to take note of so that when copying a trader, you can equally learn from this and know what exactly you are implementing on your own end. All right. So don't because I'm, you know, seeing the screenshots and the rest, you think that copy trading, I, I told you already, I've lost like half of this money. Okay. Um, I've lost half of this money. So um, be careful when you're copying a trader. So these are just a few things I want you to take note of. I set my leverage to 10x leverage and I want to copy only Bitcoin and Ethereum trade. Okay. Um, the reason for that is because I know I can remain in the trade for as long as I want. And at the end of the day is to still go in profit in my favor. All right. So with that being said, now the trader I'm copying, I'm currently copying is this trader. What I do is if I come to the BitGet exchange, okay. When I come in here, you want to go to where it says copy trade. Once you click on it, okay, you'll see where it says leaderboard. All right. So go ahead and click on the leaderboard. You see the top 500 traders who are doing very well. These traders are ranked according to their performance on the BitGet exchange. All right. So when you come down here, you see the top three, the top three who are doing very well. So this is the first person. This person has been doing very well, followed by this person and then this other person. So the lucky grand pair is the one that I'm currently following. Okay, this is the trader that I'm currently following. So if I scroll down here, now when you come in here, it gives you the traders from your local area, okay, from wherever country you are. If there are traders who are trading on the BitGet exchange from where you are, then it goes ahead and you know give you all of those traders on the local tab and then the global tab is where you can sort out all of the traders who are doing very well on the BitGet exchange okay so i normally go to the trade to the global okay you click on the global once you click on the global you see the traders who are doing very well all right um and this is the return on investment is for this particular week okay as you can see here you can sort this out here from here if it is for the last seven days if it is for yesterday if it is for this month you can do that okay um if you want to check out their profit and losses or their um you know return on investment you can equally do that okay so for this week you see that these traders are the ones who have been doing very well and the trader that i'm currently copying is the lucky grandpa and then his win rate for this week, okay, his win rate for this week has been 100%. I can attest to that because I've been copying the trader, except for this particular, this one trade that is running, which I know that will equally end up in profit, all right? It will equally end up in profit. So his win rate for this week, his or her win rate has been 100%, okay? And then this is the return this person has made for this week. All right. So you can imagine if you have been copying this trader, maybe with $5,000, $10,000, and you're having this return for throughout this week, this return on your investment. All right. Okay. So basically that is what I do now. You can copy any of the, any other trader, this opportunity. Okay. Um, his, his win rate is equally hundred percent. You see other traders here as well. All right. You see other traders here as well. Um, this trader is equally doing very well. Okay. This trader is doing very well, but at the point I just have to follow him because I got liquidated in one trade. I got liquidated. Uh, now, getting liquidated, get, hitting your stop loss is normal thing. Okay. But one thing I want you to note is that if you consecutively copy a trader for one month, 
at the end of the day, you'll see that the losses of that trader or the win rate of that trader is almost is always bigger than the losses. So if you lose a trade today, you will always make it back the next day. That is why I will advise anybody who wants to do this. If you have a larger capital, do it with a larger capital so that you you know follow some of the traders settings and you'll be able to do well as well copying that trader okay so if you're okay with it once you see the trader go ahead and click on follow all right so just click on follow and that we open up so you see all of the statistics of the trader so you see that out of 800 839 trades um 803 are uh, you know winning trades why these are the losing trades okay so um you scroll down here you see you know the graph you see that this person trades ethereum and btc okay most of the time and the rest so you see all of the statistics there you can go and check out the followers um who are copying this trader all right so here you can see the traders who are copying these traders uh, this trader okay these are the traders these are just profit people are making from copying a trader alone okay you can imagine how much these persons have in their account and they are making all of this profit copying a trader on the platform all right these are so far those who have been following this trader this is what they have made so far so if you don't know how to trade and the rest then a copy trading will be the best option for you so if you just want to copy the trader you can go ahead and follow this trader or you can come back here okay to the leaders board and follow other traders of your choice follow other traders of your choice but right now what i've decided to do is to follow one trader at a time okay follow one trader at a time because um, if I follow multiple traders, they get, you know, um, different trades and then they, you know, splitting my money among themselves. And at the end of the day, it will not be enough to hold the position. So I either get liquidated or get to hit stop loss and the rest. So if I follow one trader and I allocate $1,000 to that trader, I know that whenever that trader takes a trade, the trader is going to manage that trade very well. They're allocating $1,000 to four persons and then they are splitting your money among themselves. At the end of the day it will not be enough to hold the position so it causes a lot of um you know um it makes you hit your stop loss or your liquidation and the rest faster so i just decided to copy just one trader as i go on even if i have ten thousand today twenty thousand dollars or whatever i'm just going to rely on one trader's strategy that is it and i just wanted to share this with you i hope this video was helpful if it is give it a thumbs up all right and if you are new to the channel once again consider subscribing if you want to join bitget you will use the link in the video description to sign up there are a lot of lucky um, um a lot of bonuses for you as a new user and um if you want to learn more join the telegram group using the links in the video description i'll see you guys in the next video